In this sequence, we're going to show you how you can efficiently and easily create an exact copy of a pre-existing unit. As already pointed out earlier, two identical units with identical instrumentation are used in this project. Automation of Unit B is simply carried out by copying Unit A and modifying the instance names. It is not necessary to modify the actual programs that is, to change the CFC and SFC charts. This is exactly what helps you to save engineering time, to avoid errors, and to minimize the validation and checkout time. All aspects of Unit A are copied to the clipboard in a single operation, and then pasted into the Process Cell folder. The copy of Unit A is named Unit A1. It will now be renamed Unit B. Now the names of the CFC and SFC charts contained within the duplicated unit are renamed. The contents of the Function 1 folder in Unit B are displayed. Motor 1 is renamed Motor 2. The PID Control 1 chart is renamed PID Control 2. Likewise, the Valve 1 chart is renamed Valve 2. The property that block symbols are to be automatically created within the process graphics or pictures in Unit B has been copied as well. This is all it takes. Unit B has been configured by cloning Unit A. Are you already familiar with the Import-Export wizard? With the help of this powerful tool, you can automatically create any number of copies of standard or project-specific elements, such as CFC charts, SFCs, function blocks, or entire process areas. It is also possible to adjust instance-specific parameters, attributes, and signals to take into account each individual instance.